Hello YouTubers and welcome to a very special video. Today I review The Hobbit, the claymation version. Yes, um, homemade. Yeah, this is a, um, what this is is basically a project from my good friend and subscriber Harry Thomas Pictures. A while ago I threw him the request of reviewing my films Family Bonding and Christmas Bonding, my two Bond movies. Um, also, I promised him I would review The Hobbit Claymation, and I haven't done that yet, so I decided to do it now. <laughs> and basically, the essential, um, the es well, before I continue, I just want to say, Harry, this, is, this review is for you. This is a special video dedicated to you, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so, um, and I'll leave the links to Harry's Hobbit Claymations in the description. They're in parts, so, yeah. Okay, so, the Hobbit Claymation. Um, well, I am a huge fan of The Hobbit um, and The Lord of the Rings. They are some of my f favorite films. I mean, L Lord of the Rings basically inspired me, so. <laughs> and I, I really enjoyed The Hobbit trilogy as well. This Claymation is based off of Peter Jackson's film Trilogy, um, so that's uh, An Unexpected Journey, The Desolation of Smaug, and The Battle of the Five Armies. Um, I don't think Harry has actually finished The Hobbit Claymation, but um, he's done a lot so far. He's, what he's done is, in these parts, over the eight parts he's done, the first seven parts cover An Unexpected Journey, all that in brief, and part eight begins Desolation of Smaug. Um, and basically, Harry is, is, is trying to recreate the most iconic moments and scenes from the Hobbit trilogy, which I find admirable. And um, he says it was the first sort of thing he ever did, and, and that got him onto YouTube. Um, and I have to say, well done, Harry. Harry is incredibly talented. Harry is is a very artistic person. Um, Throughout his all of his reviews and everything you see him do on YouTube, he's he you see a lot of drawings. Um, he likes to draw, and he's done a lot of drawings for this. He's put backgrounds in front of his um, figures, um, and he's basically made the figures out of clay. And I have to say, the figures are absolutely amazing. They are impressive. I mean, they look very close very close to um, the designs of the characters from the movies um, Peter Jackson would be proud um, so I mean Harry really did his research he looked closely at the films and and tried to copy the designs that Peter Jackson had for the characters and implement them into his claymation and he's recreated them very well he's done amazing work I mean I mean this is of course a homemade thing so I mean it isn't perfect I'm, I'm going to be as fair as I can, Harry, but I will say that it isn't perfect. I'm sorry, but <clears throat> it's a very good effort. Um, and I think he, he did a good job in, in not going over every single scene in, in the movie, because that just would have been too laborious for him. It would have been too much. I think doing the most iconic scenes, the most important scenes from the films, uh, was great. And what Harry also does is he does the voices... And he, I mean, he pretty much does everything himself, and he does the, the voices and impressions. Um, some of them are really, really good. Some of his Middle Earth impressions I really like. His Gollum one is fantastic. His Bilbo one, I think, is the best. I think his Bilbo impression is, without question, his best impression of Middle Earth. Um, Gan his Gandalf impression is good, um, and his Thorin one. He does most of the voices, and it works very well. Um... I think um, what would have benefited this is maybe if Harry had some sort of sound effects at times, and um, my only minor other problems are that occasionally some of the shots are a little out of focus. I only know this. I noticed this because in my animation, I made an animation, made a film. Um, I had a focus issue as well. I mean, he's done very well to animate this because it's not easy to do stop motion animation, and um, he he does a very good job for a first attempt. Um, that there are just some shots that are just slightly out of focus, but for the most part it's fine. And um, I thought it was quite amusing how Harry, uh, for this for the scene when they created the, um, well, what I call the into the frying pan scene, the end of an unexpected journey, the climax, when the dwarves, Gandalf and Bilbo are up in the trees, 
throwing the pine cones with fire down on the floor. Uh, Harry just kind of dropped the, <laughs> the clay on the floor like that. And he uses straw and tapes the eagles to the straw and swoops it past the camera. I mean, it's very simple, but it's slightly amusing, but it's very creative. Um, he's got a huge amount of ingenuity and talent to, to do this. I mean, and I, I'm aware I think he had help from his sister as well, so a shout out for her as well. Um, I would like to see more of this. I would like to see more of Harry do this. I think he's got potential to be a very good animator. He's very good at drawing and character designs. Um, I think it would have benefited if maybe he had a couple of other actors as well voicing the characters. Because um, he's, I mean, he does a good job himself, but it's, you know it's him. You know, it would be nice to have a few more distinctive voices, but they're just only minor things. But um, I, I really like it. I think it's cute. It's very, very charming. And Harry... You, you rock, you're awesome. Um, if you haven't watched his Hobbit claymation, do give it a watch. Um, some of the editing can be a bit jumpy. Um, it, it does jump quite a bit. Um, I think some. I think occasionally you need to take a few more pictures with some of the scenes. Like obviously, because stop motion animation involves you taking loads of images. Um, so I would just say, just try and take as many images as possible because it's always little movements and. There's a lot of big movements in the animation, so I think the animation is, I mean, it's slightly clunky, but at the end of the day, this is a first attempt, and for what it is, it's pretty good, and, you know, I I really admire Harry for, for his efforts here, um, and I, I would totally see him do more of this. I'd like to see him finish the Hobbit claymation, I'd like to see him get to the end of the trilogy, that would be interesting, <laughs> seeing that. And then I'd, I'd quite like him to do something else, some, another, another animation, I, I think Harry... You should do another animation. You're very good. So, I mean, and that's uh, that's. I mean, that's pretty much all I all I can say really, because then they're, they're not very long the clips. They're, he split it into parts, and they're all like a few minutes each. So it's not like a proper feature-length film. Um, but I will, I, I would implore you to check it out, and uh, you know, just for Harry as well, because Harry. He's, he's done well for himself since then, since YouTube, he's, he's really sort of, he did more movie reviews, and he's really sort of gained a lot of followers and subscribers, um, but it's, it's good to see where people start, and this is where he started, and yeah, he's, he's great, he's a great person as well, he's a lovely guy, and he's a great director as well, and I, I can't wait to see more of his stuff, um, but yeah, just, there's only a few things that I don't really that I, I think could have been improved a little bit. But at the same time, I can't fault Harry for his efforts. So I'm going to give a, a, Harry's Hobbit Clomation on a scale of 1 to 10, a score of 8 out of 10. So, good, solid piece of entertainment. Great work, Harry. Um, I know he can do great things in the future. So, also, um, this is a chance for me to kind of uh, also say I am going to do, I would like to do a Q&A video because I haven't done anything like that on my channel, at least not for years. I mean... I would like you guys to comment below your questions, anything, ask me anything. I mean, if it's if it's, if it's it's something that's a bit too personal, then obviously I can't answer it for that reason. Um, if it's something that I don't know the answer to, I will simply say in the video, I'll just apologise and say, I'm sorry, but I can't answer that because I just don't know. But um, ask me anything, anything and everything, you know, movie related, you know, game related. I mean, ask, you know, I mean ask me anything so please comment down below your questions and I will record those I'll write them down I'll get them on a document and then I'll answer them in the next video um, also this is another chance to mention I have a third channel um, which is licensed to film yes licensed to film um, which two of my films Harry reviewed on his channel family bonding and Christmas bonding I have I 
haven't got huge amount of followers on that channel. I would, I would like. I just wondered if you guys would be interested in seeing my stuff, uh, my filmmaking stuff. Um, I do movie reviews, and I, you know, give my own thoughts on movies and what I think. But why don't you see how I do it? I mean, <laughs> I'm not. I don't mean that in an arrogant sense of the word. It would just be great to get some feedback. That's all. Um, I know Harry has kind of seen some of the stuff I've made. I mean, some of the stuff I made was for college. Um, I've made some interesting films. I made an animation film called Food Glorious Food. My graduation film was called The Truth Inside. I made two Bond films, Family Bonding and Christmas Bonding. I'm in the process of making a third one. Um, and I've done tiny little short films as well. Um, so, license to film. I'll leave the link in the description. Please check it out. I would love to hear your thoughts on my films. And if you just comment on the videos, I'll be able to respond because I. Obviously, it's my third channel, so I'll just, I'll just, you know, respond to the comments. But um, yeah, so just a few things to keep you updated. But um, yeah, also thank you to Harry for um, reviewing my stuff, and I, I hope he appreciates this review. I hope I was fair. I hope I wasn't too harsh. Um, and I hope eight out of ten is a good score that you're happy with, Harry. So yeah, that's it for now, folks. So until next time, thank you all for watching, and as always, I'm Mr. Tarnas Eleven. See ya.